Hi, it's Juris and welcome to Tattoo Shop Talk. And today we will take a look at another battery from company Inclo. And this time Inclo C-Charge 2.5 wireless 3 to 15 volt wireless battery pack with the switch button, which is the most exciting part about this stuff. So let's look into it. This would be another next level product by Inclo. Super lightweight quick charge battery with the jump start. It's coming in at 89.99 to 99.99 US, depending on what configuration what switches you choose and that additional switch is one of those things that at first seems kind of silly but if you think more about it there's a pretty cool solution that can help big time in some unfortunate situations and that part I will say for last it has all the popular connection types it has RCA it has Cheyenne's mini jack type of a thing and it has those two weird DC connector types that I have not seen on any machine and then there are those two types of switches and that's where the fun part begins one has this ring type of a situation so that can fit on a machine on a tube depending on what type do you use and another one is just the switch that you can tie to machine both have this cool magnetic connector that I love Bam, magnets that would be what you get and it comes in a little cute box and charging cable is included and I will do my usual ups and downs and who this product is for so let's start with ups as mentioned in intro ups would be size lightweight quick charge jump start and a price because at this price you can't complain much 89.99 or 99.99 us which is pretty decent for this type of batteries and it's only a little bit more and you get these cables included if you think you can live without them sure but stick around for the last part where i will show that it's not only those silly gimmicky types where it can be useful because it can also help in some really i would say serious situations downs of this machine nothing really like digits could have been bigger the cable could have feel a bit more sturdy sort of a thing but that would probably cost more so again to cut to save costs you can see it you can see it wrapped haven't had any issues with any of cables so that's all good that's just my wishes so nothing really to complain about in downs department and now let's play around with this unit let's put it on few machines and see how it works and then i will show you where that seemingly pointless gimmicky thing can be actually really useful and that would be that additional switch with this rubber ring it's intended to be to slide on on a machine this ring would slide on a machine's grip depending where you want it, then you wrap it, pack it and work with it. So that would be following, clip the cable so it's not in a way and you have to switch it on on a battery and you work with it. Kickstarter lightning bolt on, press up and down at the same time and it disappears. Voltage goes from 3 up to 15, it goes by 0.1 increments or you can just hold it and then it runs up until you stop it. So we are here at 3 volts and we have a tight-ish Tita cartridge and it pushes it like a charm. And then there is this another type of button and that is meant to be you put it on a machine and then you tie it obviously, pack it and do your usual and then connect to the battery. Or there is this crazy machine which is the non-production model but it's sort of integrated with the button so it would push in in there and you manage the cable, connect it and off you go this one is a bit scary it's all open so you have to manage cables this will look into this machine in another short video because this is at the moment at least non-production model there's ups and downs but this is weird interesting sort of demo type of a thing now for me personally i never found that part where you have a button at the tip of your fingers very useful i know that concept's been around and even in the good old home tattooing days that seemed like a great idea but later Later on you get used to food switches and all that so button at the tip of a finger is something that I should get used to and in the beginning it gets more in the way I would accidentally switch it off I wasn't too excited about this solution but then I played around with it and few things came up to me so this one would be on a pen style machine and then I started to play around with dragonflies with Cheyenne type of machines with halos that's where it comes in handy and very interesting and could be super useful so with this type of machine when you connect battery I don't dig the look but it's not too bad to work with so it's kind of looks silly but it works fine especially considering that this is super lightweight battery let's say you have just the battery on a pen style machine you can still operate it somewhat one-handed you can work with it 
you can reach up, press the power button, press up and down and all that stuff. When you work this L-bend type of a machine, one-handed operation gets a bit more tricky because it's hard to get to the buttons. So things get weird and then you have to do all sorts of tricks. So then it's more often you have to do this with other hand. You use other hand to control all the buttons, all the voltages and on and off switches. And now when you start to connect buttons, that's where it comes in handy. And that's where it can shine in some specific situations. First thing obviously would be, let's say on a pen type machine, let's Let's say we put it around here where it's sort of intended to be that's what they show in all, all the advertising materials same where it's intended on this beast so kind of at the tip of a finger and the cool stuff comes in now because you are not limited to just that position you can slide it wherever you want you can put it more up on the grip let's say something like that so you when you hold the grip really tight you don't accidentally press it and then you can operate it with your thumb or even if that's in a way you can slide it even more up and now we have it up there completely out of the way and that could be handy for people with smaller arms so if you can't reach and do this you still have an option here and you can use any finger and if you don't want to use this o-ring type of a thing you can just tie the button that comes in separately this can be put wherever you want just put it on a machine and tie it wrap it pack it and work away and the biggest bonus that i figured out it's not put on the advertisement but i just figured out playing with it is where it shines the most and that's kind of there's nothing like that on the market at the moment i think there is one product that will solve same problem coming in the near future at the moment i think this would be the only option that's out there and that would be like okay you will say i have no problems to reach to the battery i work i have no problems to use other hand let's put it on a halo and then i will show on my shiyan as well what would be the thing that i figured out it's on we have this situation and the button is now up here obviously wrap packed so for those who are concerned about hygiene if you wrap this part it's no different from wrapping just the battery and pushing buttons now you would say i have no problems to reach push the buttons with other hand and that's all good so why would i need that button at the moment the button is here but it can be anywhere where it's handy and obviously not in the way of mechanics of machine and now imagine this what if you don't have fingers on other arm or you don't have arm at all and some will say i exaggerate but most of the tattooists on the instagram have at least one one tattoo is who they follow who have some sort of disability who don't have arm or who don't have all fingers like you know there's there's a lot of people after war starting tattooing and they have some injuries and it's not that rare so it's more common than some of you would think and that's where it comes in handy and now instead of doing all the weird stuff and manipulate it or you have to put machine down to switch it on and off you can single-handedly just reach to the button and have it in a position where you want it and start it and stop it just using one hand. It could be there, it could be on the side, and you can just use your thumb and run it and stop it. And same story with Shiyan, with this L-type machine. You could put the ring up on here on where the motor is, or you can put it somewhere on a grip where it's handy, or you can use this other button type of a thing, and let's say put it up on here on a motor cap or on the side of it. If I would use it one-handedly, I would probably tie it either on where the motor is or on the side where all the cam type of a thing is. And then with thumb, you can easily press it. Or on other side, then you can use like index finger or depending which hand do you use. And with this type of situation, you are not limited to just one place. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool solution. You can put the button where it's comfortable for you. Either it be on a machine, on a grip, so it's customizable placement. And with that, it can help somebody with like, let's say, who have some sort of injury where they don't have fingers or arm. And then it's way easier to work and push the button when it's closer to your thumb. So be it on a machine, on a motor or on a side and you don't have to do all the weird stuff and manipulate machine to press the buttons that's more comfortable and potentially more safe where you don't have to do all some weird stuff when machine is running and cartridge that's been used is there and you have to either put machine down or manipulate it somehow weird and obviously now it's with these l type machines or pen type machines potentially you could also attach it to coil if it has the right connection i'm not sure how good these batteries are for coils but it's more common to see on these 
pen type like this type of L-shaped rotary tattoo machines. What do you think? Is this a good solution? Am I thinking right direction? And maybe you know some other inventions that first seemed like meh for tattoo machines and later on it turned out super useful. If you have any of those solutions on your mind, obviously leave that in the comment section. Yeah, in my mind, a few obviously people who work with tattoo machines and they have those limited mobility solutions they already know their ways and they have figured things out but i think this is one of those little things that can be useful in that type of situations and make a big difference for everyone else it's tiny bit of comfort where you would sacrifice a bit of time setting up and figuring out where to put it this at the tip of finger i don't know like i mean it's not bad but you have to get used to it and you have to avoid accidental presses but moving it somewhere up the grip or having it kind of at the thumbs reach or index finger reach I think that's pretty cool and comfortable idea if you just have one arm to work with maybe not having all the fingers or arm and you have to operate more like one-handedly or with fingers only on one arm this could be a perfect solution and for now I haven't heard of any alternatives on the market at the moment and now a quick shout out time I received some stickers from these guys boom and these are Black Thistle Tattoo Studio. There's Facebook page as well. Facebook Black Thistle Tattoo Studio there and it's on the screen at the moment. And there was a bunch of stickers for me and Carlos and a nice letter. Thank you for the content and a smiley face. Here are stickers for both of you, Yuris, and some for Carlos. Cheers, James of BTTS and Mr. Wolf. Boom. Nice handwritten note. Check these guys out, so we have some smaller, some bigger stickers, check this Facebook page. Guess I have to start to put them on somewhere. There for now. That'll be the small one. First shout out item received, and these guys spooked me a bit. Not these guys, but Post Nord, they tend to be weird. They were sending me some sort of papers, and from what it appeared like, that it was like I have to pay for those stickers. And I was like, Oof, this is going to be expensive if I have to pay for any sticker that somebody who sends one in for me, like I have to pay some extra, like you know, tax all the Brexits and things outside Europe. But it turned out to be that that paper was just stating that it's already paid. It just was a bunch of numbers, and I was like, Phew. I have to pay something like 50 krona for like stickers that were sent to me but it was all good that spooked me a bit few emails thank you guys very much check these guys out link to their facebook is in the video description and now you do your usual leave comments press likes share video if you're super awesome check products of inclo and check this playlist here of other products that this company makes they make a bunch of interesting and sometimes unusual stuff and the next generations improve, 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 and it turns out to be pretty awesome. Thanks for watching. See you in the future. Bye. Stay safe.